Hello everybody, Sil here, and welcome back to Shadenhall in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We are continuing on with our questing. I hope everyone's having themselves a great Wednesday. Or, sorry, today's Friday. My, uh, my head sucks. Just saying. However, my head, on the other hand, is uh, quite good. I've never had a complaint. Uh, let's go sell some of our ship before we go do this quest. What can I do, what can I do for you? You know what? One second. I noticed on the last recording that the game audio... Don't crash. Good. Uh, was still super low. Like, it's really loud in my ears. I really wish it would go up. Like, maybe now it'll be a little bit better. Alright, we're gonna test it like that. And of course, now it's going to overwhelm my voice, and you're never gonna be able to hear me say anything. Uh, I can repair almost let's, anything. Let's just repair. No, only repair the magical ship, please. Because I would actually like to level up my repair at some point. Have a look at my wares. Have a look at I'm sure my wares. Something to suit you. Oh, look at that sword, man. Six grand, though. No, thank you. What? What's her haggle at for? Are you serious? That's a fair deal. No, it isn't. You're you're fucking highway robbing me, you dick. All right, we'll sell the ruby as well. I don't have a use for that right thank now. Thank you. I I actively hate you though for being a bitch. Let's repair our gear. Oops, it's actually over here under miscellaneous. Here it is. Good repair day. Hammer. There we go. Our armor skill went up. Uh, again, once that hits uh, 50, I think, we'll be able to repair magical arms and armor. And it is currently... 34. So, 16 more levels to go. That's not that hard. Uh, the biggest issue is just making sure I have enough non-magical gear that it takes damage so I can repair it. Or finding a trader and just paying for it. So there is the uh, abandoned house. A pity so I've got nothing to eat. <sighs> God damn it. God Damn it. Are you I'm so Thank you, Cup. Blessings of I knew upon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would anyone here have a lock pick for sale? <laughs> Sorry, we might be able to find a spell here that might do uh, easy for less. How do you do? I doubt it. A pleasure to speak. Hey, buddy. Deidre cults aren't necessarily evil, of course. In nearby more, the Azure. Yeah. All right. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Yeah, that's still twenty-five. However, we should definitely pick this up. Uh, because it'll let us spam our alteration to level it up. Which I might do off camera. Uh, I don't really care about that. Most enemies aren't carrying enough. That 15 pounds will over encumber them. It just, it just, they don't. Thank you. Yeah, you suck. Can you trade me an alteration or are you Pay destruction? Pay attention and you can learn a lot. Your destruction. Bye. I hate you. Well met. I hate everything you stand for, buddy. Which one of these actually controls how quickly you regenerate your total magic? Oh, here it is. We're gonna pick that up. Did some endurance. Yeah. I like that. 
How much does those two points of creature magic buy? Four points. Hey, what's going on with you? I heard people saying they ran into problems. I can't stand those things. All right, we need a. Uh, we need either a lock pick or for me to waste a lot of your time casting protect on myself. So while I look for someone who might have a lockpick, I am going fly to do this. Who? He's uh he's quite drunk. On the bright side, our alteration is now like ten. Shit. I swore that homeless guy kept lockpicks around there. Uh, lockpick. Lockpick. Maybe if I talk to a guard, they'll give me a key. I'm sorry. No one except for Chaden. Due to outstanding fines owed to the city, Aldous Authorans. Oh. I, uh. I, I don't care. I wanted a key to the abandoned house. I don't know if that's a thing Gamut. that could happen. I trained people. I teach him advanced acrobatics. Up and jump. <laughs> uh, Alright. You weird Farewell. fucking lady. Hey, buddy. Sir? What are you looking The castle is north. Alright. Never mind. Goodbye. My dreams are crushed. Let's see if we can find the, uh, the general store. So, our alteration is now at... 13. Alright, so we did level up seven times. Uh, he levels up super fast. Leveling up anything that's below 25 is just... I don't know if you can hear me snapping my fingers very quickly, but uh, it's Orba. like that. Hey, you. Do you have a lock? Well, have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Or a scroll of unlocking? No. Ooh, what's this? Cow of the Druid. Fortified marks and actually detect life. 40 feet. But it does drain your blade. So this is a cool, really cool hat. So the reason this is cool is just wearing this hat allows you to detect life constantly in 40 feet. That's a super good enchantment uh, to have on a piece of gear. The Fortified Marksman and Alchemy would be great. The Dream Blade kind of sucks, but I mean, if you were playing like an Archer character, like a Wood Elf, that would be the shit to have. I really don't like that they don't pay for that. Just because it's necromancer gear. I mean, I really don't give a shit. It's magical gear. Pay me for it. Uh. Oh, she'll buy some scuba, though. No, I really like keeping a paralysis potion around. That's I have, more than I would usually pay. I have, like, a really bad crutch when it comes to paralysis in these games. Because it's just so... Thank you. Stupidly broken. Stop talking. I, I beg your fucking pardon. Alright, so there was no lockpick. Uh, well, I believe this is one of the fighters guilds. Uh, we can actually do their quest for here. Maybe. So, uh, let's join the Fighters Guild. I think I've already joined. Hey, Good buddy. day. Hi. You're here looking let's for work, go meet? crash. Yes, contract. I suppose I've got something for you. Yep. Awesome. Sweet. Uh. Map marker added. Did you give me the shipment of weapons? Move yeah, you your did. Ass, boot. Move your ass, boot. I love those guys. There's uh, an ebony blade. 
yeah. and also some sexy romantic. gemstones. Uh, there's a skill book right here. Awesome. So uh, we'll do this quest uh, for this video. Sorry. Uh, and then we'll do the Dark Brotherhood quest for uh, Monday's video. So this quest is pretty simple. Uh, you, there's a mine where some goblins have holed up. Uh, and the Fighter's Guild has sent three people uh, to go clear it out. But their first uh, weapons that they brought with them have broken. Uh, so you are carrying a shipment of weapon supplies. However, for some reason... Oh, I still have the Dark Brotherhood quest selected. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, for some reason, though, these people are, like, idiots. And they actually, like, allow you to choose which weapon to get them. So, like, the whole point is that you actually talk to them and they describe how they like killing things. And then you're supposed to give them the right weapon, and it increases their odds of living through the quest. And if all of them survive, you get a bonus. Uh, or you could give them the wrong gear, and they'll just charge in with it anyways and die. Uh, you can still finish the quest, but you lose out of the bonus. Uh, th this quest is not my favorite, because it moves at the pace of the NPCs. Uh, and they, I actually feel they move a little too fast. Um, if you stop to spend time looting, they're just going to keep running past you. And the further they go away from you without you there to assist, uh, the better odds one of them is just going to end up dead. And you're going to lose your bonus. Uh, there's the Knight of the Thorns. Uh, they're like uh, a rich boy mercenary group, sort of. It's, it's basically like a group of self-proclaimed knights. Uh, we'll, we'll learn a bit more of them later in the main quest line, uh, when the Oblivion Gate spawns here. So at one point during the quest line, an Oblivion Gate spawns inside of each of the cities. Uh, and when it spawns there, uh, the Count's son, I believe, uh, who's one of those knights, though they gave it to him as an honorary title, uh, just charges into the Oblivion Gate, and you have to go in, find him, and save his ass. I'm gonna kill you before you hit me, right? Good job. Oh! Right through the mouth. Hey, lockpicks! Sweet. We won't even need to have our alteration up. I'm pretty sure it's just goblins in here, so I really don't care that I'm just spamming alteration spells. Uh, cause they're just goblins. My katana should be more than enough to deal with them, and I have, I have enough health potions to not needing to rely on my, uh, resto. Fuck you. Hey, everybody. Good that you made it. Uh, I have to talk to her, and she tells you me to give the weapons You must be the reinforcement in. from the guild. Good. I hope you brought weapons for us. <sighs> You've made it, and all right. So should you give her the bow. Ah, you. Excellent. Like he even says, I love to sink a blade into them, but you can give him the hammer. A blade, fan. <sighs> I'm waiting. You're the one with. Yeah, I'm the one You're with the weapons. Take your hammer, buddy. A hammer. I'm good. Okay. Give those weapons to them. Get the weapons. Her. Be seeing you. All right. They they all have their weapons. There we go. See, they just sort of like run in. And I really hate fighting around NPCs, because it's so easy to just hit them by accident. As you saw earlier, when I, or in the last episode, or rather, when I was fighting alongside the camp, I hit him like three times. Because my sword, like, will just go through people. In Skyrim, you'll actually get a bounty for that shit, which is just... Bullshit. I think they ran this way. Yeah. 
See? I'm on your side. Yes, I know. Fuckers are running this way now. And I will come back and loot through all of this. I don't like how, like, blocking my power attack staggers me. Could you stop? You goddamn dude. They're on, like, every side of me right now, by the way. I don't want to use that. Thankfully, the protection is helping. You know what? Just because you be your life. Did they all die already? It feels like it based on how many goblins I'm having to solo. Like, this is so obnoxious, because he attacks like eight times in the time I have to bring my shield up once. And see, this is the worst, right? They've gotten so far ahead of me that I can hear them fighting and dying, but I have no idea where they are. Because they've ran ahead of me, left me there to fight four goblins, one on one, one on four. And now I have no idea where they are. Here they are. Did we lose the elf to the trap? We've got to clear out all these goblins. Yep, there goes our bonus. So if you don't like push on fast enough here, like the, again, these guys will trigger a trap and one of them will die. But I was stuck in a corner. There was nothing I could do. It was me versus four goblins. They aren't even done and they're just leaving. They're still the savage down here. Spell. <laughs> Alright, we need to be getting close. Yeah, we're at like 20. Alright, we're not gonna leave here till we hit 25. Because <sighs> God, so goddamn help me. Oh, that's worth so much money. Hey. Well, they're all taken care of now. It's a damn shame about Alador. Yeah, yeah. There goes my fucking Good bonus. God. Now, a more bitter me would just start the low, like, game over from the autosave at the door entrance. But I just, I just don't care. <laughs> Do I already know this spell? Yeah. Why am I carrying it around? It's worth literally nothing to me. Same with this. Ah, uh, yeah, 22 gold. Alright. Oh, there was a reason I opened that, by the way. <laughs> Good thing the mage get quest has us going to an alien ruin. I'm gonna be running out of Welkin stones soon enough. Firm in my alteration in front of thanks, you, friend. bitch. Thanks, friend. Yeah, well, no thanks to you all. Leaving me to fight four of them. Getting yourself killed. And we did level up again just because we've been leveling up our alteration like crazy. Um, and my light armor leveled up like twice. Thanks. And friend. we did get that skill book which leveled up our armor. So, leveling up in uh, Oblivion is actually really cool. It's a lot more like Morrowind, uh, and a lot not like Skyrim. 
So how Oblivion and uh, Morrowind work for leveling up is when you create your character, there we go, um, you create a series of uh, my major Thanks, skills, man. things you want your character to focus on. And they become crucial parts of your character. Uh, because leveling up one of those is a guaranteed step towards leveling up your character. Uh, because it, it just sort of shows your character's interest, what his focus on were before. Recently used pickaxe, eh? Uh, you know what? Do I even need a pickaxe for this lake in Skyrim? I don't even think I do. I think I can just crack this with my hand. Actually, let me get rid of that thing. I've been in like Skyrim mentality for far too long. So as I was saying, when you uh, are playing uh, Oblivion, you uh, you level up your abilities. Uh, the major ones guarantee you a step towards uh, your levels. The minor ones, it takes a certain level, like, it takes a certain number of minor upgrades to, like, count as a major upgrade towards one of your levels. And that's really cool, in my opinion, because, I mean, it, it definitely says, alright, you can use and be good at any skill, but have an idea in mind for your character, and if you focus on playing that character, you're going to receive extra bonuses. It, it, imagine it like being you're playing a campaign of Dungeons and Dragons, and whenever you actively do things that your class is good at, you're rewarded. Extra. You get rewarded for playing the game no matter what, even if you do something that's not, say, roguish. Um... I just, I, I think it's a really cool thing, and I really dislike that Skyrim got rid of it. Now, don't get me wrong, Skyrim, it's just, you use whatever you want. As long as you use it enough, you'll be good at it. But Oblivion could do that too, while still having a sense of character. Uh, which is what I feel is missing from Skyrim a lot of the time. Uh, the biggest issue is that Skyrim is an action-adventure game, and more when an Oblivion are role-playing games. And the disconnect, I really should favorite this spell. The disconnect between those two styles of games is just very noticeable to me. Uh, like, I, I, don't get me wrong, Skyrim is a fun game. And it has the illusions of being a role playing game. But so does Call of Duty uh, and Battlefield. Those games are technically role-playing games because you're supposed to be playing a squad-based game where you play a role. Not so much Call of Duty, but definitely a game like Battlefield where you have mechanics and engineers and you have like engineers and medics and snipers and like they have very specific gear that they're able to use. So yeah, like it, it, that was the way it was in like Battlefield Bad Company 2 or something, right? Like. The game was a role-playing game. Like, the way to win would be to have people pick a wide variety of classes and actually play those classes the way they're supposed to be played. If you have a sniper riding around just trying to pistol with people, it, odds are your team's you. going to suffer for it. Hi. If you have a medic who's, like, riding around, uh... It was sitting way in the back of the line sniping people instead of being up in the thick of things where he could actually resurrect Hi. people who fall uh, with his defibs, you're, you're gonna suffer as a team for it. And I think that's really cool. It's it's turning a shooter into an RPG. Haven't you taken care of- Yeah, I did. Someone died. Well, you got the weapons there, but there were casualties after. Do- You've done well, Sweet. Good day. But yeah, we would have gotten a lot more money. Oh, he took the steel longsword, you son of a bitch. Uh, we would have gotten a lot more money, I believe, uh, had he made it. That's a good plus five. That's a good plus three. Our speed's at 70. That's sick. Let's get our endurance up above 50. 
Our personality is going to suffer. I very, I very rarely build personality characters in Oblivion. Skyrim, sure. Building speech characters in Skyrim is crazy because it allows you to break the economy of the game. I just don't care about the economy of Oblivion. Be quick. Got many. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, like the problem is with Skyrim is you never really get the sense of role playing again. Sure, I can be a sneaky thief, but all right, I can still join the thieves guild if I'm just this crazy mage. It's just a prop that happens in a quest line. Oh, I forgot to. All right, S slow your roll, me. Thank you. <laughs> it's just I panic, hit one thing wrong once, and just start hitting all the wrong buttons. All right, we're let me let me check my clock. Let me check the time of this episode. All right, we're at like 26 minutes in. We're gonna end the first the uh, episode here, uh, and we'll be doing the first part of the Dark Brotherhood next. Look forward to 